If you're looking to travel carry on only for 2024 and beyond, then this is the video for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kate and today I am showing you my brand new carry on travel setup for 2024 and beyond. Now I have had the privilege to be sent and test a bunch of different bags over the years, but the two main ones I'm going to be showing you today, this big one on my right and this small one on my left, I bought with my own money. So that's how you know this recommendation is definitely legit. This little bad boy, however, I was very kindly gifted, but I was looking at purchasing myself before I was even gifted it. It just kind of worked out like that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So when I first went solo traveling and started my carry on only travel journey, I did actually travel South and Central America with a little carry on black suitcase, like a hard sided one with four wheels and it somehow lasted me the entire trip and only one of the zippers broke off on my literal last flight home. But following that, I was basically a backpack traveler for the last few years, and now I'm switching back. I was also a mainly one bag traveler as well for the last couple of years, and now I'm switching back to two. So I will explain a little bit more about that, but let's dive into this personal item bag first. So here we have the Balroy Transit Work Pack. Now Balroy has a few different sizes of their transit bag, but this is the Work Pack and it is a 20 liter backpack. Now for me, this is 100% the perfect personal item bag because it fits the maximum requirements of a personal item, but it honestly has such good capacity that you could literally pack in this for weeks. I did a little mini Europe trip for three weeks in 2022 in this backpack and I had everything I needed. So this bag isn't actually new. I bought it a few years ago in 2021 with my own money and I used it mainly for work. But like I said, I did use it a little bit for short trips here and there and it has lasted so well. So I'm gonna run through these bags pretty quickly, but Balroy makes some of the most sleek and stylish bags and accessories out on there on the market and they have such great sustainability so let's dive into this one. On the outside first at the front we have a little slip pocket which is just like a nice like flat pocket there. There's a small little slip part that you can put maybe like a passport in sideways um, and yeah it's pretty simple you can put a small journal in there. Then they have a nice little quick grab pocket at the top. This I currently have, this is a uh, Bluetooth adapter for the plane, but this is perfect for like some sunglasses, Bluetooth adapter, something like chapstick, lip balm, anything like that. And then both sides have these kind of hidden side pockets that zip downwards and they're quite flat on the inside. They have a little bit of depth towards the bottom and you can fit like a small water bottle in here, but uh, nothing too bulky. That's the only thing about this bag that I wish it had was more external water bottle pockets. But otherwise, these pockets are great for anything that's quite valuable that you want quick access to but you don't want anybody else to be able to access. Because when it's on your back, these pockets are like hidden and facing your back. So it would be very hard for someone to get into them. The last pocket that we have on the outside is the laptop pocket. So this pocket just opens up like so. You can fit your full laptop in there. And then I love this part. It just has a separate little compartment here where you can add your tech accessories, whether they're in a pouch or just loose. But it just means if you're grabbing your laptop out to do some work while you're on the go, you can also grab your charger or any adapters, hard drives, things like that from this compartment so you don't have to go into the main part of the bag. And now for the main part of the bag, it unzips really nice clamshell style like this. And I've just got a few small things in here at the moment, but this is what means that you can travel with it for like three weeks or more. Like this capacity is so deep and you can fit a good amount of clothing in there, maybe one pair of shoes, a small toiletry kit. And it does have one little zip pocket on this part here as well, which I like to use for anything that you wanted like separate but not on the outside of the bag and yeah that's basically it so this is my personal item bag this is mainly going to be those few things i had in there plus a lot of tech or my like notebook things like that i just going to go in this bag water bottle etc now let's jump onto my big main bag all right so this bad boy is brand new and i haven't actually used it yet but i have been searching for something like this and i've seen a couple of packing videos online with a similar type of bag to this and 
I really felt like this was the one for me. So this is the Rip Curl F Light Transit 50 litre roller bag and it is carry on size compliant so just in case you're wondering but basically this is what it looks like from the side from the back other side and back to the front now there's not that much going on in terms of external organization i'll just mention that there is some compression straps that you can pull they pull over all the way from the other side as well so you can squish the bag down and like tighten each buckle. This part here, this black part is like a hard kind of frame. And then this part here is all soft and squishy. I've just got some pillows in here at the moment. And the two main zippers, the one to the main compartment and also the one to this top flap here are both lockable zippers. So just in case you do decide to check it in, or let's say you're going on a bus or even a train and you're not having your luggage right next to you, it's always nice to know that you can just put a little lock on and then your luggage will be safe even if you're not watching over it. Quick note about the wheels and the handle. So if you didn't already know, any wheeled bags with four wheels that have the wheels sticking kind of more out of the bag, are uh, A, going to be a lot less durable, those wheels break so easily, and number two, they actually take up space in like the height of the bag, so just in case your airline is really, really fussy with you fitting a very, very specific height requirement for your bag, wheels that are more inset like this just take up less room. And then it just has some nodules on the back so that if you're laying it down flat, it hits these and not this. The handle is pretty basic, it just goes up kind of like halfway like so and then you can do it the full way as well. Pretty self-explanatory. And the last thing to mention on the outside is this upper pocket here. Now this pocket I believe is actually meant as a laptop compartment because it has a really nice fleece lining as you can see here. I've just got a few bits and bobs in there at the moment. So you can use this for your laptop if you don't have like a small personal item that you're using pop your laptop in this is perfect otherwise you can just slip anything else that you need in there maybe a rain jacket or something else that you might want quick access to and last but not least on the external are the handles now as you can see we've got one here the handles are so soft but really sturdy so then we've got two as well on this front part which means it's just so much easier to like haul it around which is what I will be doing a lot on this trip so lifting it in and out of cars on and off the boat you know, up into the overhead locker as well. Great handles, I will say. And even at the bottom, there's no like physical handle, but it has this kind of, I don't know, hand thing where you can just basically put your hand in and use that as like a handle as well. Now let's open it up and show you the inside. Ah! Basically, it just opens up like a regular suitcase, like so. Um, the front part is a little bit more shallow than the back part, but the back part is surprisingly deep. So that is the front compartment. That gives you a bit of depth. And as you can see here, we've got the laptop part that's just kind of poking out into this front part here. Then this is the back compartment. So I don't know if you can tell, but the back compartment has just quite a bit of depth to it. That means that you can really pack this thing out, but it will still be within the carry-on requirements. In the back part, as with most other suitcases, you do have the rails that do protrude. So strategic placement of your items in that part is encouraged. Now I just thought I'd mention one other reason I got a soft bag personally is because I'm going to be working on sailing yachts for majority of my time on this kind of trip slash work abroad and you don't have a lot of space to store your luggage in your cabin so I really needed a bag that was going to flatten down. So last year I took a backpack which obviously like a soft backpack is really great and easy to flatten down but this is why I was searching for a bag just like this that could be a wheeled bag but also flattened down really well and honestly I feel like this bag like that is it there it obviously has a little bit of you know stick out part at the bottom but I really feel like this bag does flatten reasonably well but that is obviously very unique to my own circumstances but this could be useful if you are going to be staying in places like hostels Anything that's like a hard suitcase is going to be a lot more difficult to store. 
and with this it means you can like just take your packing cubes and your pouches out and maybe put them in your locker that's like upright and then just put this under the bed or beside the locker something like that and it means it's just a lot easier i just thought i'd quickly mention that i ordered this online from surf stitch but i will leave like the full name of it um in the description and then you can just google and then find like a retailer that ships to you easily. Alrighty, the last thing I have to show you here is from the team at Gravel. They very, very kindly sent me this toiletry kit. It was called the Explorer Max and I had been looking for something like this for a while. So let's run through this. We've got two compartments, kind of two and a half. So this is the front compartment that just opens like so. Then we've got a few different pockets in here. So this top part is designed to pop your toothbrush in. And yes, it does fit an entire electric toothbrush, like a full size one. Then we've got three separate mesh pockets all down here. So that is perfect just for small items that you don't want floating around. And then there's one even smaller little mesh pocket in there. Next up, we have the main compartment accessed by this dual zipper and this little flap that it opens has a nice little magnet it's just like touches like that really make the difference for me between something like this and something you know generic that you buy on Amazon it is quite a nice spacious compartment it comes with this little TSA um, security liquids pouch so that is perfect for carry on travel because then you can just put all your liquids in here and stow it in here and then on the day that you're going for your flight just take this out and pop it at the top of your like backpack personal item whatever is the quickest easiest access for you and so you can just grab it out pop it in the bin da -da -da, grab it pop it back at the top and like continue on with your business and when you get to your destination it has a hanging loop as well so great to just hang it up in the shower this is the main compartment very nice and spacious it doesn't have much organization except for a couple of little mesh uh, elasticated pockets on this back side and the last compartment is a zippered pocket here at the back and there's nothing really going on much inside but it does house the hanging strap so the hanging strap has a nice little metal g hook and that just loops onto this here and it means you can hang the bag up on a rail or on a hook when you're at your destination. And what I love about this bag is that not only does it hang, so if you don't have any counter space, you can hang it up. But if you have limited hooks but lots of counter space, you can also just stand it up like so and be able to access everything quite easily. So that is my new carry-on travel setup for 2024 and beyond. And of course, you know, I will definitely be doing a packing video featuring all of these and showing you exactly what I pack for five plus months abroad. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and found it useful. Make sure to share this with someone who's been looking for a new carry-on travel setup and please subscribe down below. I would love to have you here as part of my channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. What is your travel carry-on setup for 2024? And of course, leave any questions you have down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.